What's up, y'all? It's New Year's Eve. I'm back with another video, a makeup tutorial, of course. If y'all want to see how I got this look, all the products that I use, and everything like that, then make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And let's get into this video, girl. So I stop and I don't go. Cause there's things that you don't show. And I just need to know. First, I'm going to start off with my eyeshadow because this one's going to be kind of like extra. So, I'm not going to do my foundation first because I don't want any eyeshadow and stuff all over my face. I want my edges to be like really perfect and like, you know, have like that winged look. So, I'm going to take some tape. I haven't used tape in a while when I did it up. But I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to put this right on the corners of my eyes just so that I can have a better guideline so that everything you know matches up and looks more professional so the main palette I'm going to be using today is the Too Faced Natural Love Palette and it's this one right here if y'all remember this one it came out like over a year ago I bought it but I never really used it like that that's what I want to try to do better in 2019 I want to actually use my makeup because I'll be buying makeup and then I'll use it like one time and then I won't use it no more. And if you know these kind of brands, they're not cheap. <laughs> For the first transition color, I'm going to be taking this color right here. And it's called Honey Butter. And I'm going to use that on my lid or well, my crease area. Just to get this going. Every single shade that I'm going to be using, I'm going to drag it all the way over to the tape so that it'll create that winged look and it'll get more dramatic as I pack on each shadow. So when you use the tape, make sure you drag them colors all the way over. Next palette I'm going to go in with is the Too Faced, the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, and I'm going to be using. Let me see. I'm gonna take this color right here called Summer Young, and I'll put that on my outer corner. This is another palette that I really slept on and I did not use after I bought it. I bought it and um, I use it maybe a couple times. I use it a few times on my channel, but. It really just be like in the back of all my stuff because I don't know I have a lot of makeup and it just be getting lost Now I'm going to take some regular concealer and I'm going to use that to cut my crease. Y'all know I love cut creases and that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to just cut it halfway through. I'm not going to cut it all the way over. And I'm going to just blend out the edges of that so that it blends in. So now I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going back into that natural love palette. The color called Fairy Tale. I'm going to put that right over where I just put all that concealer. And then I'm going to add some heavy metal glitter. I'm going to put this at the top of the crease. And I'm only going to take it halfway over. I'm going to just, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I mean. So 
So I'm gonna start at the bottom. And then stop it right there. Now I'm gonna do a wing, and I'm not gonna be able to talk to this, y'all, because I can't concentrate. But I'm gonna do a regular wing. So I'm taking my Maybelline Telescopic Mascara, and I'm going to do my lashes real quick, because I'm about to put on some fake lashes. So my camera cut off, but y'all didn't really miss much. All I'm doing is putting on my foundation now. I'm using the CoverGirl, the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. Yeah, I think I forgot to restart my camera because I had stopped it for a second. But I'm going for a full coverage look, so I'm putting on, well, I put on a little bit more foundation than what I usually do. And yeah, I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend all of that out. So now that we look yellow, we're going to go in and put on some concealer to kind of tone this down a little bit. This, when this foundation oxidizes, it turns like really yellow. I'd rather have it turn yellow than it turn red because I hate foundations that have red undertones when they oxidize. So I'm cool with this. I'm taking my Maybelline um, concealer, Maybelline Fitment concealer, and I'm going to conceal my chin, my top lip, my nose. Y'all know the same usual spots that I always conceal. My forehead and then underneath my eyes. to set all that I'm bringing out the OG the Laura Mercier I haven't used this transition powder in forever because I've been using my ear spine but me and Laura have some good time so I'm gonna try to bring it back let's see if I still like it To contour on my face, I'm going to take some contouring powder. I'm going to take some Makeup Revolution Oil Fix Spray and I'm going to set my face real quick. So lately for lips, I've been really into just plain clear lip gloss with no color at all whatsoever. Some regular clear Ofra lip gloss. I'm going to use this on my lips. No liner, no anything. I feel like you've been sleeping on clear lip gloss. Like everybody got to have lip liner now or like lipstick now and then a gloss but like Look how pretty clear gloss it is. Like, and the last step I'm going to do is highlight my face really quick. And this is pretty much the final look. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And I will see y'all on the next video.